Yo, what is going on, everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bursiji back here. Today, we are back for some interesting news regarding Tamashii Nations. Now, if you didn't already know, uh, they're doing their 15th anniversary celebrating uh, Tamashii Nations World Tour. And we got some interesting things to look forward to in terms of figures. So, they're doing a, a world tour. They're going to start in New York. Uh, these are the dates. Tokyo, and then followed by Mexico City, Shanghai. In Paris. Um, first off, you'll notice here, you'll see this Goku, and as we start scrolling down, they're doing an, what looks to be an event-exclusive edition of the Awakening Goku. Now, I know a lot of people have been wondering if we'll ever get a new one, or if they'll re-release the old one and give us a full power Frieza. I'm not sure if this will apply to any of that, because this is just kind of in its own thing. I believe um, there are previous Gokus and stuff like that that they've done, and off the top of my head, it's Kaioken Goku from a previous world tour that they did, um, and that one was like in a 1.0 version, so that was a long time ago. Um, but here, you can also see that he's got that pearl scent hair, he'll come with an aura, and then there'll be additional little details here on his body. Honestly, if this figure is not a, a, a uh, premium bandai or just something you can get outside of this event that would honestly suck i can't confirm or deny whether or not we will see this on premium bandai because we just don't have that information um obviously you know the event is a little bit further away so we won't really know for a while until they tell us and give us more details um, but if you are going to be in any of these major cities um, that they are going around to this is your chance to get in there um, and essentially, you know, get freebies. The admission's free for the New York one, it looks like. Um, I don't know about the other ones, if the admission's also going to be free, but we'll find out about those later, right? Um, but yeah, they'll basically have freebies and stuff in there, a whole bunch of stuff to look at, and stuff to buy. So, interesting enough, though, they have the Miles and Gwen here, and some other stuff that I'm not too familiar with, but I'm sure there are fans for it. Um, as far as I know, the Miles and the... Gwen um, are getting like an exclusive back or something in their th like exclusive background or something in their box or maybe it's a different box entirely um, as well as the stand if I understand that correctly so nothing too crazy there if you're wondering like why it's here as a special event when it's a general release item that, that's pretty much it um, the Goku though we don't know if, if they're going to do any kind of general release for the other Goku um, but yeah, this is something I think everybody should be kind of keeping their eyes on. Hopefully they decide to give it a little bit of a broader, you know, path for people to get it because me personally, I don't have an awakening Goku for $70 getting what looks to be an aura, a new pearl scent SSJ hair. And I mean, if people don't like that, there are options obviously to change it out. Um, and new details on the body, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, for $70, that's great. I would, I would much rather pay that than going to go pay 110, 150, 200, whatever. But yeah, uh, this is something to look forward to. We also have some new information regarding one piece. I'll do a different video talking about that, but yeah, this is honestly really great to hear. And I can't wait to see what more comes out of the event in the coming months. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this news. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for this new event exclusive Awakening Goku? Will you be able to attend uh, any of these events in these different locations around the world? And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.